Ever since the introduction of the socket socket technology, we've been surprised at just how many transfermal level amputees have reached out and shared about their discomfort with their conventional sockets. Daily, we have amputees from around the world sharing about the challenges they have suffered with their sockets and how excited they are about the socketless socket technology. What makes the socketless socket so unique is that we've eliminated a rigid ischial seat and we've eliminated a static socket and static brim shape. We've replaced materials that used to be rigid and static in conventional sockets with materials that are now soft and conforming, making the socket and especially the brim ultra comfortable. The socket now feels like sitting into a climbing harness or a hammock versus sitting into a rigid piece of plastic. When you compare the socketless socket brim with that of a conventional socket, you can see just how different they are. By making the brim out of webbing and soft foam padding versus traditional rigid plastics, it's now able to conform to the user's body versus the body having to sit into a static shape. Our bodies are dynamic. We believe the socket and especially the brim should be dynamic as well. Discomfort of the brim is a major complaint of transfemoral users. Even a small change in limb size results in excessive pressure in this ultra-sensitive part of the body. But we understand that not all users may have immediate access to getting a full new socket due to paying source limitations. So, we created the swing brim. The swing brim offers the same brim conformity and comfort of a full socket socket, but can be integrated into an existing conventional socket. This tool set allows a practitioner to literally replace the existing socket brim with the socketless socket swing brim materials. This eliminates point-specific issue loading and provides more dynamic comfort to the brim shape. In most cases, the swing brim still supports the limb within the socket functionally similar to their existing socket, but does so with much more conformity and hence comfort. It's a difference of sitting in a hard chair versus sitting into a soft, conforming hammock. Both can support the same person, but the hammock is significantly more comfortable. The swing brim can be purchased independently from the full socket socket kit and easily integrates within most any conventional socket design by any clinical prosthetics provider. To integrate the swing brim, begin by simply modifying the brim trim lines of an existing conventional socket. The conventional socket's frame is trimmed down considerably lower than normal, following the trim lines shown. In general, the ischial seat area of the frame should be trimmed to between 1 inch and an inch and a half below the ischial seat swing webbing connection point. The anterior scarpus trim line area should be about the same distance below the attachment point of where we will mount the anterior swivel. Both points are illustrated as dots on the flexible inner socket shown. If you desire to eliminate the existing flexible inner socket brim altogether and replace with a full swing brim, then simply also trim off the brim of the flexible inner socket where illustrated. Make sure the trim lines of the flexible inner socket are not below the position of where the final swing webbing and pad will sit to prevent pinching. If you desire to keep the existing flexible inner socket as is, the swing webbing can be attached to the trimmed frame over the intact flexible inner socket. The swing webbing is connected to the scarpus area anteriorly and the proximal posterior aspect of the frame laterally. Both locations will use the provided three bar buckles for initial mounting so that the swing webbing span can first be adjusted before hard riveting the webbing in place. The swing webbing will also connect to the included strut cert, which is mounted to the frame of the ischial seat area. This strut cert is flexible and merely holds positioning of the swing webbing, but does not support loading by itself. Rather, the support comes through the span of the swing webbing between the two end mounting points and acts like a hammock to support the desired weight. On the anterior side, the Z-strap is connected between the scarpus area and the anterior lateral corner of the frame, which provides additional anterior support and volume adjustability. This Z-strap is typically beneficial, but may be able to be left off for some fittings. Trimming both the flexible inner socket and frame and replacing them all together with a full swing brim not only eliminates a rigid ischial seat, but also eliminates a static brim shape. This is a great solution for users who want to remain in their existing conventional socket, but would like a more comfortable brim that fits like sitting into an ultra-comfortable climbing harness or hammock. Begin by adding the swing webbing, similar to the prior example, using the same mounting locations. Also mount the swing webbing to the strut cert through the existing flexible inner socket using a truss nut or rivet. On the scarpus area of the existing flexible inner socket, mount the Velcro back swivel using a truss nut or rivet as well. Be sure the swivel can still swivel. This will be used to attach to the brim pad. And finally, attach the brim pad to the swing webbing using the Velcro dots provided. It's typically easier to place the brim pad beginning with the anterior swivel first and laying it onto the swing webbing toward the back. 
The brim pad height can be adjusted with respect to the sewing webbing and can be trimmed as needed. Since it is mounted with Velcro, it can easily be removed for washing as well. Here's a few close-up shots to help with final assembly. The stress shirt can be trimmed to desired length distally and is mounted to the frame using at least two mounting holes to prevent rotation. It will also be mounted proximally through the existing flexible inner socket and onto the swing webbing. As you can see here, the swing webbing is mounted to the stressor through the existing flexible inner socket. Make sure the flexible inner socket's trim lines are not below the brim pad, as it could lead to pinching if trimmed too low. When mounting the swivel, be sure that either the truss nut or rivets used are in the correct full length to allow the swiveling rotation. The Z-strap and anterior end of the swing webbing will share a common connection point under the frame in the scarpus area. The swing will initially be mounted with the included three bar buckles, which will ultimately be removed once the final swing webbing length is determined. The posterior side of the swing webbing is mounted at the proximal lateral aspect of the frame, typically as high as possible. By placing the three Velcro dots on the swing webbing in these locations will help ensure the brim pad is secure. The brim pad will span from the anterior swivel to the posterior swing webbing. Looking down into the socket with the integrated swing brim should largely resemble the socket's original trim lines and shape. The socketless socket configuration can be customized to fit to each user according to their specific and varied needs, ranging from replacing just the brim alone or replacing the existing frame alone to a full custom socketless socket configuration. Our clinical services team is happy to help be a resource for you in any of your fittings and help evaluate the right socketless socket configuration for your needs. Let us know how we can help.